Can you imagine giving the president of your company a Charlie horse or putting your mayor in a headlock? What about slapping the president across the face? Crazy, right? Well, in ancient Mesopotamia, during the middle of the first millennium, once a year, that's exactly what happened. The king, the man who literally held life and death in the palm of his hand, was struck across the face so hard that he had to cry, and not just once. This uh, special time of year, especially for the king, I would imagine, was known as the Akitu, a 12-day New Year's festival that uh, celebrated the enthronement of Marduk, reaffirmed the king's role in the land, particularly as priest, and ensured a bountiful spring barley harvest. Most of the events centered around the temple of the god Marduk, the Esangil, which means house whose top is high, good Sumerian name. Although a significant part of the festival took place in a small structure, usually built along the water, called the Akitu building. It was quite a party, full of singing, dancing, and lots of food. But before the festivities could really get going, the king had to swear to the god Marduk that he was a good and pious ruler. So, he would go before the priest, who would take his royal staff, ring, mace, and crown. The priest would then hit him in the face, grab him by the ears, and make him kneel before the statue of Marduk. The king would then swear that he had served the god and his land reverently, and not oppressed his people or destroyed the city of Babylon. The king would then stand up and have his belongings returned to him, only to be hit in the face again. In fact, if he didn't cry after being struck, it was considered a bad omen. So the mighty king was brought to tears. What a way to ring in the new year, by having your clock cleaned.